Hello, welcome to another Somerset Real Ale review. Um, today's beer is from the good old RCH Brewery, which is only a short walk away from me. It's their Firebox. Um, it's uh, it's a six percent uh, ABV. It's well in the brown 500ml bottle, just a plain green cap on there. Uh, but um, well, I'm always looking forward to their their beers being so local to me. Um, <clears throat> it's nice to uh, nice to drink something that's made uh, made not far away from you. Um, it has a warming hand brewed beer. Uh, Taste of the West Gold Medal 1998. Um, yeah, there's a lovely sort of. I think what it is, most of their beers are sort of based around um, sort of steam trains because I think one of their brewers is um, is into sort of steam trains and, and, and old railways and things like that. So, so they're all sort of railway named, which is quite nice. Um, <clears throat> let's get the open. Right, let's see if you can see it there. Oh. I think there was much smoke on the opening there. Got to get a new bottle opener. Uh, nice bead beer, do uh, do if I can get one. Let's get the pour. Oh, there's a nice head building up on that already. <laughs> now. A slight bit of carbonation in there, very small amount. Just see rising up from the bottom of the glass. There we go. Um, it's got a sort of a two finger, one and a half finger, just off white, um, reasonably foamy head. It's bottle condition as well. This and just look at the way. That's sticking to the side of the glass. That lace in there just spells out quality to me. That uh, the beer itself is golden in colour, um, maybe just off golden, slightly darker than golden, maybe coppery. Um, the head is dying down to one finger, just as time of me talking here. So let's get the nose in. Good lord. Straight away, really hoppy, um, fresh. Um, get a good, good citrus nose on that. Um, I'd say, I don't know, it's grapefruit. Let's give it a. They say after your fourth sniff of a beer, you begin to lose your lose your smell. So we better get it on this last one. Yeah, grapefruit, I think. Um, definitely some well citrusy flavours in there. Well citrusy, you sound like Ali G or something. Um, really citrusy, I should say. Just thought I'm not going to do an Ali G impression, so don't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's six sniffs now, so I think um, I don't think I'm going to get much more than that. Um, yeah, it smells nice. There's a great smell from that. Well, I'm going to have to dig in on that. That is a really creamy, lovely, creamy head on that. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, good Lord. Again. That, that's blown me away. That is amazing. The mouthfeel from that is like velvet. That is so smooth. That is really smooth. You get a real, I'm gonna have another go.
you get a very sort of sweety, it's a very sweet malty flavour, spicy as well, slightly spicy, but not in a bland for fly sort of ginger way. Um, it's just so pleasant. That That is an amazing bit, I'm going to slightly chilled it. Um, which I think has done it, it's, it's about 12 degrees, maybe 10, um, which I think is, is perfect for that beer, absolutely perfect. But you get this lovely flavour, all in the size of your tongues, very little hoppage in there, there's not much in the way of citrus. But I'm really getting, initially, the, what stands out to me is the creaminess and that lovely mild spice and the, the beautiful flavour from the hot, um, from the um, malts in there. God, that's so, that is really lovely. I mean, it, every now and again, I know, I, I know a lot of the beers that I'm drinking are going to be good because, you know, I, I bought them on recommendation and um, a lot of them I held in cask before in the past and I know I've liked them. Um, uh, so I know they're going to be pretty good. But it's nice that every now and again you really get blown away by a beer. And this one certainly has done with me. Um, let's give you a little read. Uh, RCH Brewery, West Hewish, Western Supermare, uh, hand brewed beard, beers. Pardon me. Bottled and, bottled and sold on behalf of the RCH Brewery by Branded Drinks Limited. Uh, I thought they bottled them themselves at the brewery, but maybe not. Firebox is a bottle conditioned beer and contains live yeast. The beer should be stored in a cool place. The beer can be left to settle or for a fuller flavour. You can gently disturb the sediment to drink it cloudy. I like that. They give you the choice. Um, RCH Brewery Firebox. Uh, RCH Brewery. We started up in 1983 at the Royal Clarence Hotel in Burnham on Sea, but soon the growing demand forced us to move out to West Hewish, where we could produce a wider variety of beers. Firebox is RCH's premium traditional bitter, and its name reflects the steam fired nature of our brewery. At 6% ABV, it's a deceptively drinkable red beer with a velvety beginning and a long toffee finish. Yeah, I suppose the, well, that's the sweet, I suppose, the sweet I got out of it. Uh, it's made only using, it's, it is made only with local West Country ingredients and with no artificial preservatives in the brewing process. Winner of the gold medal for best bitter at the 1998 Taste of the West Awards. Contains barley and may contain wheat, oats, rye and spelt. <sighs> right. <coughs> It's about this time of the review, I like to give it a swirl around, gives you the choice on there, purely up to you. I'm going to pour in that sediment, the live yeast at the bottom of the bottom of the brew there, and let it all into the drink. And yeah, I mean that's, I don't think you're going to see that, but that's... That's got it all out of the bottom there. Um, you can see it's clouded the beer up slightly. Very fine bits of uh, sediment in there, which is nice. I'm going to dig in and have a try of this. Yeah, it hasn't really made any much different much difference on that one. No, because I mean it was it was very velvety in the first place, so I mean it had a very good, very nice mouthfeel. They say it's a um traditional bitter, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't class that as a traditional bitter. I think that's something a little bit more special. Um a little more premium traditional bitter. I mean, it's a red beer, but it's 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 more than that. It's it's just it's just a lot more. I think that. I mean, session wise, I know it's six percent, but I think I could easily drink three of those because that is a really nice beer. Um, I seem to be giving out a lot of um, 
good ratings, high ratings at the moment, but I mean, these, these are the beers I'm drinking, they're quality beers, so um, I've got another, a couple of supermarket beers um, to review uh, tonight, which is nothing wrong with those, so we'll see how they compare. Um, anyway, but that, that is going to get a 9 out of 10 again from me, because I really like that. And Firebox from the RCH Brewery, fantastic. Reddit West Country Ales sold me that, so you know, get onto his website, um, www.westcountryales.co.uk, pick some up because it's worth it, it's worth a try. Uh, thanks for watching, um, love to see your comments so you can um, subscribe to Real 1977, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.